Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're just going to be going over the Intel Arc A380, and this is graphics card that is a budget-friendly graphics card that Intel is releasing, and it currently arrived in the U.S. labs, but it doesn't mean it's for sale currently in U.S. or anywhere too much worldwide. I just want to go over the specs of it and how this is a budget-friendly card, and how this is still going to be a decent mining card if you are on a budget. So as we see here from this picture, just from the article itself, it looks like a decent graphics card, at least for like size. And I assume power consumption won't be much just after reading over this article and everything. So it's just a small basic graphics card that Intel is releasing. I believe it's their first GPU that they're focusing on and releasing for like a budget friendly card. But we're just going to go over this article quickly. And it just has a few points that I want to point out here. So Intel's ARC graphics cards are technically speaking already available for purchase but with one small catch. They're only purchasable in China. So only China has access to them right now. And while it's only the entry level A380, uh, it's going to be a while before the rest of the world can get their hands on it. And surprisingly, Intel's own US division clearly couldn't wait and decided to jump the fence and bring a couple custom cooled cards to their own labs. So we were able to see the packaging, the cards themselves, and a few things about them. Uh, someone that works at Intel, his name is Ryan Shrout. He's a graphics community uh, engagement at Intel. He revealed on Twitter here the actual video of the packaging and the card itself. And I'll play some of the video. But the tweet says, got my hands on the retail version of the, I believe it's Gunner or Gunner, Intel Arc A380. Photon 6 gigabyte OC card. So it's an overclock 6 gigabyte card and it's at a retail budgetable price, which is surprising to me. It is only available in China right now. So W so worldwide buyers might not uh, see it locally, but the build quality is exceptional. Mainstream 1080p medium gaming DX12 Ultimate AV1 HW and code solid value. So for gamers, it's also a great thing, but also for miners, of course, it is a budget friendly card. Now, obviously top of the line miners aren't going to be jumping on this card because it is a budget friendly. So there are some limitations, but it being six gigabytes and you'll see the price point later in this video. It's a great pickup for us at home or budget friendly miners, as I've mentioned a couple times. But I'll quickly just show you some of the footage from the video and then some pictures to follow up on it. So as we go over some of the photos here, I'm just going to go over some of the spec wise. I'll just put some of the photos up so you guys can check it out for yourself. So spec wise, the Intel's A380 comes with six gigabytes of GDDR6 graphics. So that's like pretty much the normal now. And it being six gigabytes, that's a little bit of power behind it. And it's powered by a full ACM G11 GPU with eight XE cores. Other specifications include a 75 watt TDP. So the power consumption, I believe it's only 75 watts. So it's kind of like my GTX 1650 in power consumption wise. You're not gonna use up a lot of power with this thing. It has a 96 bit memory bus and memory bandwidth of 192 gigabytes a second and a base clock of 2000 megahertz. So overall, it's definitely not a bad budget friendly card in my opinion. Like I said, it's most likely comparable to my GTX 1650. Mine's only a four gigabyte, of course, and this is a six gigabyte. And I believe this is Intel's first release into the market. So you're, it's already like something uh, notable by Intel. And if they're gonna keep making budget-friendly cards like this, it's gonna be great for gamers. It's gonna be great for budget-friendly miners. And obviously the big warehouses for miners and stuff aren't gonna be buying these up. So necessarily, it's not going to be a bad thing for gamers as well. They'll be able to get their hands on it. But with the price point, you're going to see a wide range of people trying to buy it when it comes out worldwide. And who knows, with it being available in China and with the internet nowadays, you might be able to get your hands on it somehow. Now, I'm not saying you are able to, but I'm pretty sure there'll be some ways to go ahead and buy it and ship it over here somehow. So in most, like in any case here, Shrout, which is a guy that released the video, he didn't really show off much of the A380's like uh, power or process or like much of it. He didn't deep dive into like much performance yet, but he did offer a glimpse at the GPU running PUBG. It was uh, at full HD resolution and at medium settings, so nothing too crazy. But like I said, this is going to be good for budget gamers and budget miners. 
that's all I'm focusing on. And this is just the A380 model. I believe there's some other ones. So I believe there's like the A750 as well. And I believe that one's also going to be kind of like a budget friendly, like a bigger version, a bulked up version of this one. So uh, based on numbers obtained by a Chinese hardware reviewer who managed to get their hands on the A3080 early, price wise, Shrout says that the card costs between $130 US and $140 US, which is obviously a very fair price for something like this, like something that's six gigabytes and runs at medium graphics for gaming. But also I look at it and the mining perspective, you have low power consumption, you have high giga, uh, gigabytes for mining. Even the base clock is not that bad at like 2000 megahertz and you could probably overclock or underclock it. But most of the time with these type of ones, you just keep the power consumption at the full 75 watts because that's not much compared to some of these big high end graphics cards, especially if you're just mining at home, you're looking for something like this. That's not using up, uh, using up much power in our sense, but they predict once it comes into our market, so Canada, US and worldwide, you can assure that those numbers will go up in price. This is just going off the price over in uh, China and such, but as stuff gets released into like our economy and things like that, we know things will tend to shoot up in price and we could even see it where like, unfortunately resellers buy it and then mark up the price. But I hope the case stays the same where it sticks around the 130 even to $150 US. Because even in Canada, that would be around probably like $200 or something or give or take roughly. But if this thing shoots up to like over $200 US or $250, then it's kind of iffy on the price. But then again, a $1650, 4 gigabyte is going to run you about $200 or a little bit under. So this is a, definitely a fair price for a 6 gigabyte card with kind of the power consumption and things that it does bring to the table. But yeah, overall, I just wanted to go over this article quickly. It, just, it was a quick article. It was just some news that came out. It came out like a week ago or months ago, like that this was going to happen. But now we're actually seeing it start to roll out the Intel Arc series. And this was the first one that arrived in US labs. So it's good to see that they are bringing them over. And who knows, they might be bringing a shipment of them. And it could be closer to release than we know. But right now, it's currently, like I said, just available in China. But I know this was kind of a quicker video than my normal ones, but there wasn't much information about it because it's still over just in the Ch uh, China market. So only certain reviewers are able to see it and release information. Intel themselves can't release too much to us, just being an unreleased card technically in our standard. But yeah, that's pretty well it. That's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this quick news video and information about this GPU, Make sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be sure to bring more types of videos like this to you guys. I don't mind doing the shorter form quick news updates like this. It's fun for me and it's quick and informative for you guys as well. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.